It is hot. It's freaking January the 14th, I think. And it's hot, which it is Houston. About 4,000 degree, 4,000% uh, 4, humidity. All right, guys. So today, what we got. Um, last night, I took a piece of chicken and I experimented. I got some cream cheese and some maple bacon bits. Not a whole bunch. And uh, some seasoning. Stuffed it inside of a chicken breast. Put it on the grill and let it just simmer in a little bit of butter. And oh my God. All right, guys. So here's what we got. We got this really uh, thick piece of chicken breast, thawed out. Took the knife, uh, turned it sideways, and just like cut into it and just cut a pocket, basically, um, into it. And then Everglades fish and chicken, my absolute favorite. Or you could use anything that you want, honestly. Um, I like Everglades. Uh, my YouTube channel, Deer Meat for Dinner, got me turned on to it years ago. Uh, there's a reason he loved it so much. So, I just get a little seasoning inside there. I don't want to make too big a mess yet. Now, if you're wondering, I am in a camper. Uh, if you haven't been following my channel or my escapade, but uh, thought a little more cream cheese go there. So, I got a job here in Houston. I cut that little piece off for a reason. I'll show you in a minute. So here's what I do. But I got a job here in Houston, so I transferred over. Um, no big deal. So, just a big gaping hole <laughs> amount of cream cheese. That was way too much, but it'll be alright. And just stuff it in the best you can. That was way too much. What I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna kind of poke a hole in my finger. And this is uh I mean this is great value cream cheese, it's nothing special. I cooked this last night. Oh my god, it was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. Great value. Um, real, let's see, maple flavored. Real bacon bits. Maple flavored, real bacon bits. I'm just going to take and put a couple of those there press them in it's gonna be perfect it's gonna be a little messy you see I got the tin foil down and this is why I have the tin foil down all right so trim a little piece off of here I don't like the way it looks some of you who cook a lot probably say no that's a good piece dark meat I don't really like it so all right so here's what we're gonna do. I got it stuffed. So then I'm gonna take my season. So this stuff works like a rub. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. And you can kind of rub it around in that. Uh, uh oh, I'm losing my stuff. Just get messy with it. I mean, you can't hurt it. Uh, if you've never tried this Everglade, just like, man, you can just literally put it on like a rub. And um, I just kind of pat it in. Turn it sideways. Put it down. Just get everything that we absolutely can. All right. Now. So we're stuffed. On our tin foil. Um, I've touched the chicken. So I'm not going to touch it to anything else. I'm going to throw it away. And uh, some Kerrygold Irish butter. The only thing that would be better was if it was the garlic flavored. I'm going to get like, I don't know, not that much of the butter. And I'm going to put it on top 
of all of this. Just like that. I'll take my knife. I'm gonna throw that piece in. Just for good measure. What's it gonna hurt? Let's get it seasoned down. With all this leftover goodness. Mm. Okay. So I'm gonna take my tin foil. I'm gonna wrap this dude up. Just like that. Enough to make a bowl. Just like that. Nothing special, right? Just like that. Kind of like cooking a turkey, in a way. <laughs> Alright. Just a minute, and we'll step out to the grill. I'll show you the rest. All right. So, in addition to, we're gonna do up a little asparagus. I'm not gonna do a whole lot. I really want a whole lot tonight. Just, uh, just the meat, the meat and the veggies. And I just take a little spray pan and uh, coat it, kind of like I do fish, to keep from burning it on the grill making it stick I'll spray the uh, spray it down first and um, all I normally do is a heaping load of sea salt because only a little bit of that sea salt is actually going to stick to it so I think I'm going haywire with it all right now Let's go check on the grill. All right, so I got the asparagus on my grill. I got the meat right there, I've been preheating it a little, it's kind of hot, and I'll leave it open. Now, if you're doing this in the oven, um, time wise, I don't know, I would keep an eye on it. <clears throat> my, I usually about 250, 300 uh, is where I'll let it get to, and then I'll let it hold that for about 20 minutes. 20 to 25 minutes. Um, sounds like a lot. It's really not. All right. We're at about 15 minutes. Really scorching hot. Oh yeah. Ooh. That goodness in there cooking. I'm gonna take that asparagus off. Ow. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's hot. Soak a while, turn the heat down, just let it simmer. Alright, so I took it out, stuck it on the grill for just a few minutes. Um, now, but I am not wasting this. I'm gonna glaze that on there just a little. That was my 30 minute mark. I'm gonna finish it off. Tell you what, that dude right there. Oh my good God. Here's 
how we're going to do it. Pick it up. Uh, and all the fish coming out. Don't fall. Don't fall. I'm going to take my spatula. See how much of this I can scoop up and put it on the plate. And on my asparagus. doing this in the kitchen, I would say make a sauce, put this over your asparagus. Mm -hmm. All right. I mean it's paper plate fancy but uh, that's good stuff. Well there you go guys, that's bacon, maple bacon and cream cheese stuffed chicken breasts. <laughs> Let's cut this dude open and see what she smells like. Okay, I hope it's done. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm talking about this awesome white meat goodness. Mm. So most of your cream cheese and stuff kind of comes out of it, but all the flavor. All the flavor it's deep inside. It's good to go. All right, guys. Maple, maple bacon, cream cheese, stuffed chicken. I don't. Know. I've seen people stuff cream cheese and bacon and all sorts of stuff, and it looked amazing. So why the crap not? Mm -hmm. I mean, why mess up a good thing? I did it last night. Tasted amazing. How bad could it be? Oh god, this chicken is just falling apart. It's like... Oh. Mm, it just keeps getting better. Mm. Oh my good gravy. I don't even know what to say. All right, guys. That's it for today. Later.